everybody, this is Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this pendant here with a twisted bail. So if you want to see how I made this, just keep watching. So the base wire that we're going to be using is some 20 gauge square copper, dead soft, and this is from RioGrande.com. Comes in these nice big spools. And then the thinner wire that we're going to be using to make all the little connections is 22 gauge half round wire. Um, also from Rio Grande. So I'm going to start off with the base wire, the thicker wire. That's the 20 gauge. And I'm using three pieces that are 10 and a half inches. They can be a little shorter. This is, I cut them a little long just um, because I would rather have a little extra than not have enough, but it kind of depends on the size of your stone. My stone's actually not that big, so this is gonna end up being probably a little bit too much wire, but um, my stone is about an inch and a quarter, or about 30 millimeters. And it is a teardrop shape red um, marcasite gemstone. Now, for your stone, what you want is the top to um, have spacing. So when I bend my frame around the stone and then I bring the frame together, it's going to form a little gap here because this doesn't come to a point. So you can use an oval um, or you can use a teardrop, but if you use a teardrop, you have to position it like this, upside down, the point down. So, I'm going to grab my thin little wire and I am going to make a connection. I'm going to find the middle of my three wires there and I'm just going to wrap around just for a little bit. Just want to have a nice, good connection. All right, that looks good to me. So now I'm just gonna trim off the ends and I'm making sure the little ends are on the same side so that when I take my pliers and I press down those ends that they're all here on this side. So from the other side, they would not be visible. So the side with the ends is going to be the inside that's going to be touching your stone. That's what's going to hide your wire ends. So because my stone has a point on the bottom, instead of just gently bending this, you know, like for an oval shape, uh, my stone actually has a sharp bend because it is a teardrop and I'm positioning it point down. So I actually have to make um, a sharp bend like this with my pliers. But if you're using an oval stone, just bend the frame around your stone. That's what we're gonna be doing here. But to get myself started, I'm bending that point. I'm just gonna open that up a little tiny bit. There we go. All right. So now, you want to lay this down on like a table or a flat surface. I'm just going to do it in the air so you can see. But what I what you want to do is just bend this frame around your stone and you want it to meet up here at the top. So here at the top, don't put um don't put like a strong bend into your wires because we're going to be doing something a little different with them, but just kind of gently bring them together, but not too much. Like don't use your pliers to actually like make a real sharp 
bend here because we're actually going to be putting them in a different spot. So this we're, we're just doing this to get an idea of where the frame is going to come together. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make another two connections and they're going to be up here. So if you have your stone in, they're going to be not where the stone touches the frame, but right above that. And for this connection, you don't have to make it quite as long. So I'm just going to do four wraps like that. And then I'm going to trim the little ends of my wire and I'm going to squish that down so the ends are inside. They're in here. Okay, just like that. And now you just want to do the same exact thing on the other side. And with this half round wire, I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier, but if it's your first time working with half round wire, the way that you want to use it is you want to um, have the flat side of it be down and then half round side of it be up. Okay, so just trimming off the little ends and squishing that down. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is put our stone in and we're just gonna take a look at these little wraps and like when you hold it shut, where are they? Are they equal? So this one is a little higher than the other one. So I just am going to bring it down, try to make it equal. Once you've made it equal, what you want to do is you want to take um, these two frontmost wires and you just want to start to just gently curve them in this direction. And then you're going to do that on the other side as well. Trying to keep it kind of equal so one isn't higher than the other. Okay, then you're going to put your stone in. You're going to bring them together just like that. And what I'm going to do now, before I finish these up, I'm actually, I want to finish these up first. So, you can use your pliers for this if you'd like. We're going to bring these wires together, and this time we are going to make a sharp bend in them. So you have two options here. You can use your thin wire and you can wrap it around to make your typical bale or let me remove my stone for a second here the other option and this um, might be smidge more difficult is to twist them and make a twisted bale okay so if you're gonna twist them then I prefer to use my pliers to twist them and I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time just grabbing the wires and the hard part about this is making it be a nice even twist so I like to keep this angle and that really helps me and then you might want to do it with your hands or your pliers whatever is easier for you it 
it's easier for me to get started with the pliers just for that first twist but then I actually prefer to use my hands I feel like that is more even and I keep fixing this angle so that it doesn't get um, uneven so if you've never done this before you might want to just use some scrap wire to practice on first just in case before you do this pendant so um, now I'm gonna hold with my pliers and I'm just gonna give it a little little extra twist here because it, it's kind of hard to do with your hands at some point so once you're happy with the way that that looks and the height of it as well what we're gonna do we're gonna bend it forward so that we can make our bail so you can use some round nose pliers or you can use a pencil or just anything you want to make kind of a curve in it because we're going to connect this um, I'm actually gonna untwist this the tiniest bit because this is turning out to be a really long bale I got really into twisting it and <laughs> it's gonna be like a really giant bale if I don't untwist it a little bit all right I'm just straightening the wire after I untwisted it because it's all crooked so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these wires and we're gonna tuck them in through this little opening here to connect our bale so it's just gonna go all the way around so you can grab the wires with your pliers and just pull them through but you want to keep guiding this bale so you might want to grab that and push it there we go so this is a good bale like good size for me so what I'm gonna do now is these wires here I'm gonna bring them to the back so basically we're just making like a loop with each of them see that like it went in here and then around so it like loop, loops around so let me just grab my wire cutters now I'm just gonna trim that and leave this just little end that I'm gonna tuck that way so this little end so this is the back of the pendant the little end gets tucked under there so it's away from being able to be seen or touched so we're just tucking that in basically what happened is a little loop got formed that's going all the way around and it's connecting our bale so now our bale is secure and it's connected to these wires here all right so with that part done we can work on the other part so this is my stone I'm just gonna pop that back in it's important to have the stone in because these wires we're gonna be um, kind of connecting them to the edges here and if you don't know where your stone is you might put the wires too far down and then you won't be able to pop your stone in because they're gonna be in the way so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to secure my stone in I'm gonna do that by on the back of the stone bending the backmost wires like this to trap it in and then on the front of the stone I'm just running my pliers down the edge here separating that frontmost wire and then I'm putting a bend in it alright 
and that just traps the stone in so then it won't fall out as we're working on it. Okay, so we can mess around with that a little later as well, but this is just to get it for now so that it doesn't fall out. So now we're going to work on these here, these wires here. So I like to do this just a little bit at a time where I bend one, then I bend the other. I feel like if I do like a complete bend with one of them, then it's harder to get them to be even and equal. So I like to just do a little at a time. Sometimes you might have to push one of them kind of back up if it seems like it's getting lower than the other. But basically that's all, that's all there is to it is just slowly and gently one side at a time we're just going to be bending them this way just like that until they get to the point where they come here where the stone ends and once that happens, we're going to press down with our finger so it doesn't move out of the way. We're going to bend it towards the back. Just like that. All right. So now, here on the back, I am going to leave myself a little end like that and trim the wires. So that little end is how we're going to tuck the wires away. So I've cut them and now we're pretty much done. We just have to tuck away those little wire ends. So what I'm going to do, make sure you're always kind of pressing here in the front because you don't want to mess this up when you're tucking them away. So I'm just going to take them and I'm bending them, bending them inwards in this direction, okay? So I'm tucking them in there. And then I'm pressing down so that they are flat in there. And then here from the front, if you can kind of see that little wire a little bit, you can just go in there and just push it down. Okay, so now the same exact thing. On this side, just taking those little wire ends, curving them inwards, and then just pressing them down into the frame. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to like bend my wrist around so I can so you can see this. Okay, so they're being tucked in there and pressing them down nice and flat against the frame of the wire. Just like that. All right, so now we are all done. And this is the finished pendant. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.